right, here we are. Everything should be fine. Alright. I think so. Which looks good. So let's go. Hey, Chidarin. Ah. Here we are. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> I am filled with calm as I sit in the bath alone in the silent mist. Hey, Bea. The instant ten days earlier at orienteering, I am glad I went to find her myself. Deep in the darkening forest, between the two of us, wet from the rain, there had been an air of intimacy, which let me speak from the gut, to borrow my grandfather's phrase. She told me I didn't have to tell her what I was holding on to. That it was not necessarily right for her to know. I thought confessing everything would be the right thing to do, but... She said that some things were better left unsaid. Mairi's words gave me hope. I stretched myself out slowly. I have made sure to come late, and it feels good not having to worry about anyone else being here. <sighs> I have the feeling that we're seeing this scene precisely because she's not gonna be alone for long, but okay. <laughs> it may be because this is an all-girls school, but no one bothers to cover up, even when getting dressed for ballet. It's even worse in the bath. People cover up with towels, but... Hmm. I'm always aware whether we're changing for ballet or changing in our dormitory. I know what's up. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Just making predictions over here. <sighs> my Amitya partners don't seem embarrassed, but it still takes my all to not get a beat red face. I wonder if it could be lesbian feelings, but that's probably overthinking it. Up until now, I haven't really gone to school much, so I don't know whether I like members of the opposite sex or not. There are no men working at the school, not one male teacher. The scant knowledge I do have of men is only of my own family. Except for... Except for... Connie. Ah. I remember the stepbrother that was brought into my home. And then I remember that woman. I take hot water in my hands and splash it on my face. At any rate, I cannot say we are good friends yet, but we are now close enough to be on a first name basis. If we keep getting closer, it won't be long. The sound of a glass door echoes loudly in the bath, drowning out my thoughts. There we go. <laughs> uh, the sound of a door means... I'm quick to wrap a towel around myself and go see who entered the bathing area. Whoever they are, they're chatting away cheerfully. <gasps> to borrow my grandfather's words, this is like a horse from a gourd. No, more like a truth from a lie. What do you mean? At any rate... Oh yeah, they're all here. I hear the footsteps growing near, and as the mist clears... Yeah. My Amitya partners, covering their naked bodies with a single towel each, come into the bath. I panic. It seems the Sasakis have been up to something again. I 
一緒に入って背中を流させるところよそれなら喜んで入りそうだけどね<笑> I watch my immediate partners laugh and converse どうしたらいいの Even with the towel, I can see the curves of Mary's body. Ay, ay, ay. Although she is more modest, my mind races at the sight of Rika and her beautiful pale skin. Go under the water and hold your breath. Surely it will work out. <laughs> Kidding. Oh, oh, we get a choice. I should say something. I. Can't make myself known. Well, the second one is kind of creepy, so I would say the first. Let's see. Um, yeah, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> uh, am I gonna have to come back and make the creepy choice though, or no? <laughs> oh lord. Okay. The two of them are lost in conversation, not even attempting to hide their bodies. It would be better to speak up, I think. Are? スオさんじゃないえスオさんもいるのいやだもしかして私恥ずかしいところを本当いるならいるって言ってほしいよねもしかして覗きじゃないの何てことになるかもなんて。I've got to tell them I'm here そういえばスオさんのことだけどさ Hearing my name unexpectedly, I freeze and forget all about calling out to them. Uh, the longer this goes on, the weirder it will get when they do realize you're there. <laughs> Feels bad. Yeah. <sighs> That's right, at the orienteering. Maybe I shouldn't have carried Mary home in the rain like I did. Because the next day I immediately caught a cold and it got worse from there. Yeah, you should have just left her in the rain with a sprained ankle. Because that makes more sense. <laughs> what? <laughs><笑><笑> I didn't have a high fever or serious symptoms, but I had a slight fever and cough for over a week. I've only recently gotten over it. ポケストの先生も治りが早いって褒めてくれたよ。マユリさんの治癒力を周防さんに分けてあげたいわね。それって私の方はどうでもいいってこと？違うわ。なんていうのかしら？イメージの問題かしらね。マユリさんの風はそ
OK それはプライベートなことだしねせっかく3年間学院で寝起きを共にするのだしもっと親密な関係になりたいわそう思わないまゆりさん私は Rika's words have me feeling on top of the world and I await Mayuri's words. <laughs> I sorry Clinton Otomod uh, <laughs> asked for permission first. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm a little bit conflicted because it's I can understand that it's likely also a cultural thing for them. Uh, but I am very much on Suo's side in terms of I also didn't like being uh, in like such situations where I needed to undress in front of other people, even if they were all girls and supposed to be I don't know comfortable because they're girls. I just I never really liked it myself, so I totally understand uh, her being shy about it because I was too, um, and yeah I also was trying to like you know just be in the corner like not attract much attention just get it all done quickly and so on so I, I, can, I can understand that but I can also understand a little bit from Rika's side it could be oh, also <laughs> attraction but it could also be this kind of like cultural thing that if you are comfortable being with a person in this kind of situation that that means there's a certain bond between you and she's looking for that kind of bond so I, I get it but also like yeah, <laughs> uh, it's a delicate thing, so <laughs> it has to come from both people, right, in order for it to be comfortable. <laughs> uh, yeah. I may be too embarrassed to change and bathe with them, but I'm glad she wants a closer relationship. Huh? Music stopped. Mayuri-san,だって さんって最近白羽さんじゃなくてスオさんって名前で呼んでいるじゃないオリエンテーリングで本当に心配してくれたのを知っているしねでもこれ以上は踏み込まない方がいいと思うえ私はもっと仲良くなりたいわ一緒
一つ聞くけれど、マイリさんは、スオさんのことをどう思っているのアミティエや、学友だとかのはぐらかしはなしで。クラシック・ラブ・トライアングル、や。そうだね。親しい知人ではある。でも、友人ではない。I lose my urge to act as a mediator upon hearing those words. My heart quietly sinks instead, like the calm, flat sea. Ah. As I wait in line in the hallway, she smiles her usual smile at me, as sunny as a spring day. She's wrong. <laughs> the reason I look nervous is because I cannot completely hide my tension. I'd overheard the truth a few days ago in the bath. Since that night, I haven't been able to figure out my feelings. I've been conversing with them like usual, and no one suspects a thing, but. My stomach hurts knowing we're about to be asked how our Amitya relationship is going. Rubbing my stomach, I head towards the door. In the room is Sister Basket, along with two other female teachers I don't know. We start by writing our honest opinions about the academy, our new friends, and the Amitya program on a piece of paper. After handing in our answer sheets so as not to be seen by the others, it's time for the oral interview. We answer about 10 questions each, from the sort of questions we'd expect to more personal ones. Oh, we have questions again. Questions. <laughs> Sister Basket smiles pleasantly, and Mary raises her hand a little hesitantly. The two teachers flanking Sister Basket take notes on Mary's answer. Ah, I like art. I am called upon next. I am able to answer without any awkward silence and let out a sigh of relief. Before the interview, I'd been thinking it would be an inquisition into our relation the relationship as Amitya partners. I am relieved. I can fake my way through superficial things, but I would probably betray myself if asked a deep question. <laughs> I bet the deep question is just around the corner. <laughs> she whispers something to the other teachers and they murmur amongst each other. I glance down to check the time and see that there are fewer than 10 minutes left, so I figure we will finish soon. Oh, I'm stressed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Straight up, like, no. 
No veiling it, no nothing, just... Ah! <laughs> hey, Moscha. I, I, we, we, of course, have to pick Mary, so... Unhinged question, yeah, like... <laughs> no warm-up, no nothing, just... Straight into the deep end, yeah. It's a natural enough question, I suppose, but... Even though I'd expected such a question, I look into the eyes of the subject of my worries, Mairi, who is sitting next to me. So, yeah, I don't know how productive of a question this is, though. But specifically because it's a uh, three-person group. She says it in her usual slow, kind tone of voice, but... <sighs> Mary's expression is a mixture of troubled and angry. Right. See? That's exactly it. Because if you have to pick someone, the other person will always be like, eh, hey, wait, but like, why am I not the one you're picking? <laughs> Drawing comparisons like this, it, it, I don't know. It might be counterproductive. I panic. I don't want Rika, who said she wanted to be closer with me when she was in the bath, to have any hard feelings towards me. I attempt to justify myself. Beside me, Mary is making a complicated expression, like she doesn't quite know how to feel. Ay, awkward. <laughs> The interview ends and we first years gather in the ballet room. Oh no, I shudder. Is it a ballet test? But the event that's about to take place is far more terrible than I had imagined. That is... Eh? To my left and right, all I can see are my classmates in their underwear. <laughs> Dangerous scene, it's here. Oh no. Okay. I'm so embarrassed I don't even know what to do. After having measured our minds, they are measuring our bodies. Mm -hmm. I'd heard that the academy took students' measurements. They'd also done it at the school I temporarily attended. I mean, I was also weighed and like had my height measured at the beginning of year at school, but just that. What kind of other measurements are they taking? However... <laughs> Although they sometimes measure the class altogether in novels or movies, measurements and health checks in just our underwear is something usually reserved for much younger children. Yeah, <laughs> I never experienced something like that. <laughs> Dahlia unhinged, oh lord. I don't think it is something people our age normally do. Even when I turn to hide my reddening face and body, an unsuspecting butt <laughs> enters my field of vision. <laughs> My classmates are chattering away, arms around their friend's waist, in their underwear, with no apparent issues. It's the same behavior when changing for ballet or in the baths. One would think they have no sense of shame. That I am overly aware of their nakedness in spite of the fact that we're all girls makes me feel like I'm somehow the one who is impudent. <laughs> Oh, great, we get to see you too. Fantastic. Dressed in bright spring green underwear, Rika blinks and looks at me with a slightly startled expression. So, <laughs> 
I know she's saying this out of kindness, but even so... She probably means nothing by it, but her staring at me with those sincere eyes makes it hard, hard to get undressed. It would take all my determination even under normal circumstances. I think her is so cute. Mm. Ichigo is wearing a sports bra with a cute clover design. Ringo appears uh, wearing a camisole and I feel my whole body get off. <laughs> あら、佐々木さんたちはもう終わったの? I really do think this is excessive. Like, do they really have to be in their underwear to get measured? Seriously. It's年ぶりですものね。私ももう少し身長が欲しいから。伸びていて欲しいわ。ちょっと。女の子は今くらいの時期で成長が止まってしまうそうだし。それじゃ小さいままなの。私としては<笑><笑> <laughs> uh, the usual back and forth begins before my eyes, and I'd usually enjoy watching. But right now... <laughs> Ichigo uses big gestures when she talks, which makes her bra stretch and contract, and I am beside myself! Mm. I'm almost catching glimpses of things that shouldn't be seen. <coughs> I watched their conversation with a feeling of agitation. This is a cool, familiar voice. I realize it's mighty. <gasps> my heart thumps violently in my chest. Hmm. The most common style of underwear in the class, in a sky blue color. It is neither particularly fancy nor does it show excessive skin. But. <sighs> if I undress now, they will see the redness all over my body. I am so feverish that even I can tell. Just say it's still the cold, okay? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> My Amitya partners are looking at me questioningly as I try to think of an excuse. Everyone nods since they know about my behavior at ballet and how I wait until everyone is finished to take a bath. でも、脱がないわけにはいかないし。そう。ナイスバディが見られないのは困る。ああ、マイガン。何を言ってるんだか。まあ、確かにうちのクラスじゃスタイルはナンバーワンだけどね。<笑> oh <my God. 笑> I'm inwardly relieved by Rika's shutdown. However, あ、でも本当に恥ずかしくて脱ぐのに抵抗があるのなら、その私がお手伝いするわ。人に手伝ってもらった方がその。思い切りよく決断できるだろうし。はい。Erika has a bit of a thing uh, with not understanding or maybe thinking of other people's boundaries. 
While on the other side, Mary is too prudent around possible boundaries that she's creating extra ones. <laughs> oh god, oh god. <laughs> she says with resolve as she twirls her braids. Tell her you're fine on your own, accept her offer. We're fine on our own, please, please. No, fuck, we have to accept the offer. Oh, no. Scene is important. Okay, so the rest are gonna be chiller. Okay, I'm looking forward to that. I guess we, we persevere for now. <laughs> we have to accept the offer, okay. <laughs> That in itself. <laughs> the way it sounds. The words enter my ears, but I don't comprehend them. I breathe in once, twice, and then at last I understand. <laughs> I cut myself short and gaze at Rika, who's looking up at me as she twirls her brains. Again. Maybe it's a cultural thing. Maybe this also comes into the equation of being closer to someone in in their book but it doesn't have to be <laughs> ah you can't be close to someone without undressing them right you can absolutely <laughs> um in the bath she had said she wanted to get closer even if it meant being misunderstood if that's the case shouldn't i do the same <laughs> りっちゃんさんの言葉に困ってるだけのような気がそ、そうね分かりましたそれじゃあ手伝ってもらおうかなえ、本当にちょ、ちょっと待って以前に誤解される真似は寄せと言っただろうえ、でも Mayuri is clearly flustered, while the Sasakis are watching me with both surprise and great interest. I regret my careless words. With everyone's eyes on me, I unravel the ribbon around my hips and take hold of the hem of my skirt. The uniform is practically a dress. I don't have a choice between removing the blouse or skirt first. My MTA partners have the sense to turn to the side, but... <laughs> so long as your eyes are open, you can see everything from anywhere. I let go of the hem of my skirt. <laughs> You're not helping! <laughs> oh my god. Ichigo says, and I let out a small sign. I put the socks I've removed into a drawer, then resolve to stop fooling around and take hold of the hem. Though I've resigned myself to this, it's still my first time getting undressed in front of people. I'm on the verge of trembling and filled with embarrassment and a strange sense of excitement, and as more time passes it becomes harder to take it off. I tie my hair up and then whip the uniform off all at once! <laughs> Bruce Almighty moment. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Although, like, <laughs> Ichigo's inspecting is not really. <laughs> it's awkward. I've, I'd worn my favorite underwear so that I didn't embarrass myself in front of the nurse at the body measurement. Okay. They speak highly of me and my joy beats my embarrassment. <laughs> Underwear is not something I would have my grandfather buy for me. So I've been buying my own for as long as I can remember and I'm relieved to find out that my taste is not bad. For some reason, all of my classmates are sneaking looks at me, but since I got the seal of approval on my underwear, <laughs> I think I can just about stand it. <laughs> yeah, that's super cute. 
そうあお花なら私的にもあるんだけどいやイチゴのはお花というかクローバーだろそこで対抗意識を持っても。うん、親友と妹が反旗を翻したそれは意味合いが違うんじゃ I chime in with other thought and Ichigo responds by sh staring intently at my underwear no at the parts of my skin that are showing ay 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 Ichigo な何なんというか神は二物を与えずと言うけれど三物も四物も与えるなと思ってさはい。I think your legs are nicer. They're not that big. Oh god. Yeah, let's try to deflect and compliment her. I agree. The guide says the same, so that's fine. Oh, I'm Ichigo snorts at the two of them and they strangely, uh, sorry, they're strangely coordinated counter. So, Muno ga asa hakasa na no sa? Do you koto? Izen yonda honde, fukuso ni tsuite no homeru pointo ga kaite a tanda? Tatoeba, mune ga okiku aita fuku o kite iru no wa, ise no appeal. ミニのスカートなんかを履いて足を見せるのは同性へのアピールだってねあはんまあ確かに今日の服胸の谷間開いていて可愛いわねとは褒めないなでしょ女の子同士競うのは足なんだよ競う相手がいない女の子はパンツルックになるでしょ OK I was not aware of this <laughs> そう言われるとキャリアウーマンはパンツルックが多い気がする。Nobody had ever told me this rule of the world. 仕事がメインになって、同性相手に競おうとか、どうでもよくなる現れってことか。で、それはそれとして、イチゴはなぜそんなに自慢げな顔をしているんだまだわからないかな。スオちゃんは、胸でなく足を褒めてくれたんだよ。つまり私を認め競う相手として見ているってことじゃないつまりクラス1の美人のスオさんとライバルだって誇っているってことね OK イチゴノッツ・レヴェレントリーとシュー That リカ is in fact correct ずっと腰を撫で続けるのはやめてほしいんだけど I say in a small voice <laughs> Ah, we are on the last leg of the body measurement ordeal. Sumimasen, tsuita te o yoi shite mo ii desu ka? Mairi is. Uh, sorry. Mairi asks, raising her hand. The question is obvious, but there is a reason. It would seem a bit late to want a partition now after we've measured our height, weight, and vision all in our underwear. But. For the final remaining chest measurements, we must take off our bras. Oh god, why would you have to do that? Oh come on, that is a little bit exaggerated. Why did why why does the school even need perfect measurements? Like wh what does a few millimeters extra like <laughs> matter? Hello. <laughs> uh, um Though it is a little late, I fully understand why she wants the partition now. However, <laughs> Thicker plot requires it. Oh, God. <laughs> what am I saying? There's no God in this. <laughs> God doesn't care. 
Marty cannot argue with Sister Dahlia's answer. <laughs> she puts her hand down and looks around the class, unusually restless. I watch from my peripheral vision as our classmates get their chests measured. Based on their, her behavior at the baths and changing for ballet, I thought Mayuri felt no shame. So I felt a new closeness with her now. Perhaps Rika thinks of this as medical and therefore normal. Because she starts to take off her bra without hesitation. Yeah, but like even if you were getting a medical consultation, you wouldn't be doing it in front of an, a whole group of other patients. It would be you, the doctor, a nurse maybe? Kinda it. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I am more impressed than embarrassed by her decisiveness as I watch her put uh, her hands behind her back. A voice near my ear whispers and I jump backwards. Dahlia writes the rules and you will like them. Mm. Mm. I tried to say that she is wrong, but... Ah, Ichigo agrees. My cheeks flush as I try to explain myself. Her expression is, as the saying goes, like a deer caught in the headlights, or as though she were punched when she least expected it. さっきの身長を測る時もそうだけど、ちょいちょいリッカちゃんがよそに気を取られているところでじっと見ているんだよね。気づいてないと思っていたかもしれないけど、しっかり見てるのだよ。イチゴ police, okay。それは見ていたさ。でもそれは同級生の体重とかが気になっただけだよ。私も乙女だからね。Mayuri's words make me wonder if that's how most girls really feel. But... そうかな。だったら他の生徒、例えば同じアミティへのスオちゃんも同じくらい見てないとおかしくない。でもじっと見ているのはリッカちゃんだけだったし、そう。うん。スオちゃんには全然興味なしって感じだったよ。My shoulders slump dejectedly at Ichigo's words. Ringo looks at me with knitted brows. Dead silence. Even just glancing at her from the side, it's obvious that her mind is racing for an explanation. Rico licks her lips. <laughs> her angry shriek cuts through the chatter and the previously lively room goes quiet. An awful silence hangs in the air. Her forced apology does nothing to break the silence. The remainder of the body measurement time is painfully tense. <sighs> We're out of there, thank god. <laughs> I hear a squeak. When I look up, I see short curly hair and big cat-like eyes fixated on me. She had been reading in her usual spot, at her usual time, but now she has rolled her wheelchair over to my desk, looking fed up. 
I'm surprised since Yaegaki usually never comes over and talks to me. And I put down the book I've been disinfecting. Disinfecting a book? Oh, okay. <laughs> she narrows her eyes like a cat. She points behind her with her thumb. Yes. I followed the Yaegaki's annoyed pointing. Okay. I followed uh, follow Yaegaki's annoyed pointing. There we go. Without the though. Mary is there looking listless as she turns the pages of a book. I don't get it. What's wrong with someone else being in the library and reading? Isn't that what the library is for? The way she says it makes me want to ask her, and what about you? But instead I look at Mary and think back on the exchange at the body measurement four days ago. Ever since she shouted at Ichigo. Erika is a gatekeeper. <laughs> My words trail off as I think of her and how ever since that incident four days prior, her attitude has hardened and she's been growing more and more distant in class. I guess the one thing I don't I don't get, like at least um, on the surface of things, why would Erika be bothered this much like she says it's distracting that there's someone else in the library reading that place looks super big like you don't i don't know there's plenty of space for multiple people to be there reading so is it eh, anyway yekaki snorts scornfully <laughs> She's right. Rika is holding her tea party now. Mari, who isn't in any clubs, usually pays a visit every day. That's, that's mean. Nerdy words like brain, school cast. The kinds of words Rika might throw about. I don't know how to deal with Mayuri, who has shut herself off like me. But for now we've decided to just let her be. If she's sad, I should comfort her. If she's mad, I should placate her. At first I thought Mary was just grouchy and got mad at Ichigo's teasing, but... Her rigid attitude makes it hard to talk to her, so it's only natural that people have started avoiding her. たしかあれだ。高坂はお前のアミティだろ。普通は。どうしたの、マユリさん。何か心配事があるのなら私に話して。それは。What <笑> I can't make her a geek. I'll get her back to normal. I'll get her back to normal is the choice. Although I don't know what that actually means. Getting her back to normal. I mean, I guess back to her usual behavior. One is the best choice. It's not the one in the guide, though. Oh, 
Or are you just saying it's, it would be fun if you choose it? It's funnier. So I can pick it without messing up the root? Is that what you're saying? We'll get here though, like we'll make all the opposite choices when um, when we come back, I guess, right? So let, let's just go with the guide <laughs> so I don't get confused or mess things up because I've, I've done that in the past. Okay, get her back to normal. Yeah. She flashes a cat-like grin at my words and uses her hands to cross her legs. <laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs> If I could, I would. だって理由を話してくれないのだもの。ま、適当に様子見て話してみたら。正直、うつうつとした図書館でページを送りたくないし。やいかきさんは優しいね。<laughs> the sight of Yaigaki blushing and crossing her arms fills me with a sudden desire to wrap her up in my arms and protect her. <sighs> I want Mayuri to go back to normal. That much I've decided. <laughs> In the farthest part of the library, Mary, who has taken one of Yaigaki's favorite spots. Ah, okay, so she was in Yaigaki's favorite spot, got it. Returns the book to the shelf. She then leaves without so much as glancing at us. Hmm. Rika and I had decided to leave her alone for now, but. まずまずだった。え?ママは食べられるくらいには美味しかったって言った。あいつがお茶会に手作りの菓子を持ってくるなら、また言ってやってもいいかもな。Yagaki <laughs> <laughs> says that with her back turned facing the window. I stare at the seat where Mayuri had been sitting, feeling as though I'm chasing her shadow. Alright. I didn't know what to do, she says. During the break after class, the numbers may have decreased, but there is still a ring of people around Mary. However, I glance at them as they chat amongst themselves in a different group. でも、様子を見ようって。数日なら共同生活だし、そういうこともあるだろうって、放っておこうと思ったけど、こう何日も引きずるなら、話を聞かないわけにはいかないわ。委員長だから、それともアミティエだから。she looks at me with surprise, but quickly smiles. She says this frankly, as though it were completely obvious. For some reason, I feel as though I have let a strange feeling like anxiety loose from my hands. I watch Rika head toward the group where the Sasakis are talking, and I sigh deeply yet quietly so that no one notices. Then, having a strong urge to read a book, I am rummaging around in my bag when... Okay. 
It has a heart on it. <laughs> there is a white envelope inside. I don't recall putting a letter in my bag. I turned the envelope over and over with suspicion. I can't do anything if I don't look inside. I opened the envelope. To look? I opened the envelope to look, I guess. I am relieved that there are no razors or anything inside. <laughs> Although I'm a little reluctant in case it's not actually for me, I glance over the letter. Beautiful letters written neatly on proper writing paper. There was no name on the envelope, but my name is clearly written on the stationery. It's a letter for me. However, the sender's name is not written. A concise letter, only one page. It says... I've admired you from afar, and I want to be your friend. If you would like to meet me, come to the auditorium after class. This brings back a hateful memory from the past. When I'd gone to my previous school for a short time, I received a very similar letter. Except that one didn't say I want to be your friend, but rather I want to go out with you. How should I turn this down? I ponder, remembering how the boys laughed as they appeared. They called me pathetic for going to the meeting place and laughed at me derisively. Hmm. I'm probably being tricked again. They might really want to be friends. Hmm. We shouldn't assume that it's a trick just because there were other people in the past that were mean. Uh, yeah, the choice seems to also be they might really want to be friends. The image of those boys jeering at me will never disappear. But. My previous school was co ed, and the ones who tricked me were boys. Some girls were watching from afar, but they didn't do or say anything terrible. No boys this time. <laughs> I'm better at talking to people than before, I think. There must be someone out there who would want to talk to me. With a faint hope glimmering in my heart, I carefully memorize the time written in the letter. After class, in the empty auditorium, I await the center of the letter. It's my first time alone in the auditorium, and something about the silence of the chapel feels ominous. It somehow feels like the solemn mood is ringing a warning bell. I go all the way to the seat where the nuns give their sermons and find a letter left on the podium which is similar to the one left in my bag. When I open the envelope, it contains the same stationery. I look over it. Yeah, the letter says, I can see you, come find me. Why the mystery? Before I look around, I say to myself that it is as I thought, that I am being set up. It occurs to me that this letter could be a cruel joke. Wait, leave before I run into them. Hmm. No, I want to know what it's about. Okay, yeah, the guy uh, says the same, so we wait. Visions from the past of all those boys laughing at me flash before my eyes, but... People have their own ways of bridging the gap. I convince myself that perhaps the writer of the letter is just a very informal person. I put a hand to my chest, which has been filled with anxiety before I even opened this letter. My cowardly heart is being fast. I look around me for any sign of the writer, trying to find them as they'd instructed in the letter. There are many places to hide between the long wooden pews and ivory-colored columns. I not only search the front door, but the left and right ones as well. I hear a small thump and look in the direction it came from. A column in the back. After staring that way for a long time, 
I finally let out a sigh, wondering if it was just my imagination. Then... <laughs> From behind a column appears a smiling, no, grinning face coming my way. What was this a game? The two of them are laughing as they talk. I never imagined that the Sasakis, who I thought I was particularly close with out of my classmates, would pull a prank on me like the love letter from my childhood. My mouth is dry and my brain seems to freeze. <laughs> the two of them are smiling wickedly at me and I laugh along with them. I am too sad to speak. Oh, we should laugh with them. No? Yes. Yes, we laugh with them. So, so, ne? すごし期待しちゃったかも。本当にここって女子校だよ、スーちゃん。これは胸を見ていて照れた迷いさんと同じ病のようですね。ステックネス。オッケー。I <笑> They talk nonchalantly about Mayri, who is still dogged by the incident from that day. I feel heat rising from my stomach at these two, who are talking as though it is already a thing of the past. Hmm. Her lazy tone of voice, Ringo, who I usually think is cute, peers at me as I look down. Driven by rage and an inability to bear being there any longer, I run from the place like a frightened rabbit. The sound of my own panting rings loudly in my ears. You thought it was a love letter, didn't you? I can see Ichigo's laughing face as she asked the question superimposed on those boys' faces. I still think that you're punishing them for for your past experience. Because, like... The letter itself says, said friend, right? Uh, so... It was mostly about, like, okay, maybe this person actually wants to be friends. Let's check out what's happening. Maybe they're shy, or maybe they're just unconventional and don't know other ways to reach out to people and they just did this so i i really don't think there's anything that she should be this um hurt over it's just that she's reliving this past experience that you get excited and jingos too as i run i ask myself the same question as i had back then the silhouette of my stepmother. I realize that I am deep within the forest. I lean against a large tree and get my ragged breath under control. The tree's scent and the warmth of its trunk calms me slightly. The warmth on my back reminds me of my grandfather. He would gently rub my back whenever I got anxious. There are good things in life, too. That's what he would say. I couldn't bring myself to say these words in front of my grandfather, but when I was alone, I would. The Sasakis and Mayuri, who is becoming more and more isolated. I take a deep breath to calm down and gaze at the setting sun as it pours through the trees and paints them red. Then I close my eyes. At first, the voice does not reach me in my daydream. 
The reproachful voice at last brings me back. I realize the voice is directed at me, as I stare blankly at the book with the half-eaten roll left in on my desk. I cock my head in confusion at Sister Basket, who now seems somewhat pleased. She smiles charmingly. It was probably because I had been spacing out. I have crossed the line and called the teacher by her first name. Sister Basket puts her hand to her cheek bashfully and I respond with a vague smile. Sister Basket puffs her cheeks out intentionally and I feel my facial muscles relax into a smile. Seeing this, she smiles too. Having no appetite, I have only nibbled on the single bread roll I brought with me. Hmm. The letter sent as a prank. And Mayuri is still depressed. So, it's a religious way of thinking, I think. But I guess it is Sister Basket's way of looking out for me. She asks me after calling me Miss Su. After class, I'm walking next to Sister Basket down a small path in the woods. She steps lightly as we follow along the path, which is different from the one I took from orienteering. Unable to take it anymore, I speak up. ようやく聞いてくれたわね。今から向かう場所は初夏に行う廃棄に住みなのいくつか候補があって。どれにするかは例年2回の会の生徒が決めるのだけど、候補を絞るのを手伝おうと思って。うん。Interesting. Hmm. It looks like we'll have many opportunities to interact with nature at the academy. I nod the sister basket as she continues. たまにはそう、なんですか。そうよ。10代の頃は気をつけなくても平気だけど、20代も中頃過ぎるとね。神経質なくらいでちょうどいいのよ。Although we've often talked about school-related things, we've never really discussed personal topics before. It's a strange feeling. I wonder... She of course looks mature, but when she talks this way, I feel as if she is around the same age as me. <laughs> <laughs> Which is it then? At these words, which I just blurted out, Sister Basket looks over my chest and hips, though not in a vulgar way. Hmm. Remembering how I was told that, even if I don't like something that makes me stand out, it could be it could sound like sarcasm to others. I sneak a, uh, a peek at Sister Basket. 
何をなさっているんですかいいえそういえば私はいつ頃から成長が始まったのかしらと思って。I see her run her hands over her habit, touching her full chest and hips, and my face goes red. Hmm. <laughs> Unsure of how to respond, all I can do is force a smile, but I've suddenly realized something. Sister Basket's dreamy nature and her voluptuous body that emphasizes her womanhood. They remind me of my late mother, and like an association game, the shrill voice of my stepmother follows. Yeah, I don't know how to feel about this. Even though I'd figured that asking me out here was just a pretext, it still makes me happy to hear. I chase away thoughts of my stepmother and force a smile. Oh, Oi, sorry, I didn't mean to do this. Oh, I ask, thinking of how Sister Basket often comes to borrow books. She smiles wryly and says yes. The hippie motto pops to mind. I'm always such a pessimist. Forcing myself to go along with Sister Basket's good goodwill, even if I have to fake it, I stride towards our destination in an attempt to inspire myself. While I'm trying to lift my mood and force myself to find something to enjoy, I narrow my eyes against the gorgeous sunshine pouring through the shadows of the trees and listen to the distant sound of a babbling brook. We've easily gone twice the distance we did in orienteering, but the final stop among Sister Basket's candidate spots is a field of flowers stretching as far as the eye can see, and the sight is so spectacular that at the moment I see it I feel my fatigue disappear. What do you think? Is this an appropriate hiking spot? Sister Basket asks, but she said the hiking is set for July. Wouldn't the best time to see the flowers already be over? I ask. And Sister Basket is at first surprised, then looks dejected. I am encouraged by her cute gesture, which makes her seem young, as well as the field of flowers, and I hit the road in high spirits. If only it had ended there. I recall Mary soaking wet in the woods. It may be imprudent, um, imprudent for me when to go save her, to say it would be better to be lost, but... What happens? Did, did they find like a hot spring or something? <laughs> Hearing her carefree voice, I let out a deep sigh. I steal a glance at Sister Basket bathing under the shade of a tree and gasp. Although she has entered the water fully clothed, her wet habit clinging to her body leaves little to the imagination. Why? 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 <laughs> um, her plump yet youthful and elegant bare feet. Okay. Oh god. <laughs> what am I reading? <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, her attractive bottom is as ample as those in the medieval paintings decorating the academy. And even though I am a woman, my heart starts to race. She's a teacher and an adult, and it's weird. <laughs> and it's supposedly a nun. I, I don't know how that fits with this, but okay. 
The contours of her conspicuous chest clearly outline even through her clinging clothes. The green of the trees reflecting on the surface of the water, woven together with Sister Basket, makes for a breathtaking tapestry. Although I know I shouldn't stare, I am unable to take my eyes away. Won't you join me, she asks. I freeze at the sudden reminder of the now awkward relationship with my classmates. Now I feel bad. Even if you did sweat, why why stop at the, like a spring in the forest to bathe yourself? Just go back to the school. What? Ah, uh, I answer in a hurry. <laughs> I don't see how this has anything to do with her. <laughs> Perhaps she is concerned about her hips as she is innocently rubbing the area around them. Seeing this, I start to sweat. What I just said to Sister Basket was a bold faced lie. Though it is spring, today is very hot. We were walking for a long time and my undergarments are drenched with sweat. Her cherry pink lips, her hips, and the captivating movement of her hands over her soft looking belly fascinate me. A pleasant silence falls between us, broken only by the gentle sound of our breathing and the occasional splash of a drop of water. The question is sudden and I end up talking openly about my hometown. I also tell her about how I lived alone with my grandfather. そう。私はね、故郷はこの学院なの。今は女性しかいない学院だけど、昔は進学を教えてくださる神父様がいて、その神父様の娘が私なの。私はこの学院で育ち、卒業した。そして、亡き父の代わりに進学を修行しているわ。生まれてからずっとこの学院に。I cannot really imagine the life Sister Basket is talking about. すごいな。私は今日あなたの国会を聞かせてもらおうと思っていたの。about what? She stops swirling her hands in the water and casts her eyes downward to the surface. My troubles are not lofty religious ones. Mine are more earthly and mundane. At my silence, Sister Basket stares at the surface of the water. Her furrowed brow smooths back to her usual amiable smile. She then claps her hands together. そうしたら父はこう言ったわ。他人の靴に足を入れてみたらいいって。靴を英語での言葉じゃのようなものね。意味は相手と自分の立場を入れ替えて考えてみるということを総表現するそうなの。自分の人生と相手の人生の入れ
私の時とは悩みが違うかもしれないけどあなたの力になれたかしら I have only been thinking about it as something that was done to me. I've had this done to me before, so I thought this time was the same. But I haven't thought about why the Sasakis would have written that letter. If I think of her troubles from her perspective, perhaps I can find a solution. Empathy! Empathy, who would have thought? <laughs> In the end, Sister Basket、uh, said something useful, although it didn't have to be happening in this context. <laughs> But okay. Her voice sounds like an unsure schoolgirl, and I smile. Filled with gratitude, I call Sister Dahlia by her first name. どうしたんだい乙女がしてはダメな顔をしているぞ。She asks as she skillfully whips the, cream,、uh, the fresh cream.I instinctively touch my face, then let out a l o n e cough. いえ、はじめのクッキーを作るときの手際と比べたら、ずいぶんと上手になっているので。男子三日合わざれば活目してみよう。と言うじゃないか。まあ僕は、正真正銘乙女だがね。She runs a hand through her bangs in an androgynous way that has me hooked. For a moment, I am so smitten that I forget that she is a little strange. She shakes her ponytail. So, hurry up, present the cake, or yay, this is my own. So, wearing an apron, the president of the Council of、uh, Nicaea puts a hand on her hip and smiles. Hi, Yatsiro Senpai. I answer. The reason I'm baking a cake together with Yuzuriha Yatsushiro. Present? After receiving that advice, I thought that I should, at any rate, take a step in the right direction. I thought about what I should do to get Mayuri back to normal. When I tried to think about what would make me happy, I figured that a present would do the trick. Practically speaking, any girl would be happy to receive a present. Or so I think. However, if we give a present on a day that is not a special occasion, it might just embarrass her. I'm rethinking things when I run into Rika in the hallway, who is in a particularly good mood for some reason, and so I ask her what kind of present she would want. Rika, whose spirits are even higher now, insists that a cake would be best. Cake? Tabemono? そうプレゼントといっても両妻だからアクセサリーとかは無理でしょ遠く離れた町に買いに行くわけにもいかないしそれに何て言うのかしらて手作りって気持ちがこもってそうじゃない She has a point, I think. And if it's a cake. お茶会の時に出せるし。サプライズでプレゼントも素敵だけどやっぱり本人に聞いた方がいいわよね私はケーキならチョコケーキがいいかなあ催促しているんじゃなくてねリカ waves her hands in front of her face and I thank her for talking this over with me ケーキを作ることになったけれどどうしたそんな目で見ないでほしいな。もうつまみ食いはしないよ。<laughs> そんなつもりじゃ。<laughs> keep tasting it, okay? <laughs> I giggled remembering how she kept tasting the cookies we had made as a warm up to making the cake. 手伝っていただいているんですから、やつしろ先輩の分はきちんと用意してありますよ。Sure. Tasting. That, that's what it was. It was for science. <laughs> <laughs> ah, but geez, yeah, okay, talks of food. Mm-hmm, okay. <laughs> 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 
なんというか一味足らないのがまたいいというか<笑> Yeah, you're, it's absolutely fair, but I, I, I will also I'll take the food, I'll take all the cake and the delicious、uh, things If only we would stop. <laughs> we stop with the weird stuff. <laughs>、um, Yatsushiro talks delightedly of the pleasure of tasting her creations as she continues whipping the fresh cream. I mean, this is actually a very good thing, right? Because she was struggling with the cooking, but now she is not just creating. <laughs> Delicious baked goods, she is enjoying them herself as well. That's good, that's great. Progress. Although it threw a bit of a spanner in the works, Yatsushiro happened to be at the cooking club when I came to ask to borrow her, their equipment and gave her consent. It's thanks to her that I can use this room. A little mischief on her part doesn't bother me at all. In fact, I'm grateful for it. Shikashi. ユージンへの感謝の気持ちにケーキを焼くか実に女の子らしい発想だねこれをもらえる友人が羨ましいよ八代先輩ほど人気があるのならクッキーやケーキはよくいただくのではないのですかいやなぜか甘いものが苦手
あーなんとなくわかるな僕も初めシャッカーのオフサイドとかはちんぷんかんぷんだったよまあ弟の影響でよく見るようになったからは理解できたけどね She looks at the foamy whipped cream and asks if it's ready. I nod, take the ball from her, and transfer it into a pot which I then set on the stove. Wari to tema ga kakaru ne. Futsu no shoto keiki nara, kono sagyo wa yara nakte mo ii desu kedo ne. I set the heat to medium and keep an eye on the pot. When the cream begins bubbling, I turn off the heat and then I mix in shaved chocolate with granulated sugar and stir until they're dissolved. Ii ni oi da. <laughs> A warm smile floats to Yatsushiro's face. I really do want to see her dance ballet. Yatsushiro senpai wa ballet ga tokoi to oshatte imashita kedo, shoulai ballet no dancer o mezashitari toka wa shinai no desu ka? Ballerina o mezashite ru ってことかい Hehehe, ya, jibun ni wa muri da yo. If she's talking talent, then the skill she has in attracting attention with every single movement of hers, um, of her, uh, wait, every single movement of her oozing dignity, I guess that's what it's supposed to be. That alone seems like talent enough. They say all entertainment is competition. Yatsushiro's silver brows knit together and she scratches the crease between them. My eyes widen at the name of one of my favorite movies. だから一つのことにあれだけ執着し極められるということに憧れる反面億劫だなと思う。スオ君が仲良くなるために once the chocolate has been mixed in completely, I remove the pot and place it on a damp rag. As I watch the mixture cool down, I don't know how to tell her that the cake is from Mairi, not the Sasaki's. She sticks her finger into the steaming pot like it's the most natural thing in the world and licks the chocolate off it. You just said that you wouldn't do it. What? I don't think the awkward relationships that me and Mairi or me and the Sasakis have will return to normal so easily. My giving a present will probably be seen as overly simplistic. ああ、以前よりもなんというか柔らかくなったというか、バイタリティが増したというか。それに変わっていっているのは君だけじゃない。佐々木君たちもだ。佐々木さんたちも。以前は明るく社交的に見えても、最後の最後では自分たち二人の
who changes into a good person after a Christmas miracle. I think of how wonderful it would be if I could bring my, uh, happiness to those around me by changing myself, like the movie Yatsushiro referenced. Something is strange. Mary, though gloomy, has joined the tea party we arranged to give her the cake. That much is fine. But... Oh, that's so cute. Oh. Rika places the cake I'd brought from Mayuri on a table in the gazebo. There are two cakes. Ah, I see. Because that's chocolate, it's what Rika likes. Okay, I got it. I, I, I was scared for a moment. <laughs> there are two cakes. A strawberry shortcake and the chocolate cake I'd made, along with some colorful sweets arranged on the table. Rika is personally pouring the tea for the classmates who have joined. She's there for the cake, of course. <laughs> no matter how many times she was invited, Yaigaki has never come to the tea party, yet she's parked at the foot of the table and talking with Rika, who smiles while pouring her tea. When their conversation ends, Yaigaki looks at me, teacup in hand, and begins rolling her wheelchair in my way. <laughs> She glances towards Yaigaki, who has reached my side, with a little half smile. This is. Zibun you didn't know? I I awkwardness is gonna ensue. <laughs> As I take a side glance at Yagaki sipping her tea and smiling, I realize at last why today feels strange. <sighs> Looking around at my laughing classmates, I understand belatedly that they are here to celebrate the birthday of Rika Hanabishi. <laughs> when I ran into Rika in the hallway and she said, a present, how about the cake? So happily. <laughs> She had said that, while the surprise is nice, it's better to ask the person herself. And when she said she would like chocolate cake, it was because she thought we were talking about her present. Oh god. I realize I've given Rika false joy, and I break out in a strange sweat. <laughs> Seeing Rika so happy, I can't exactly tell her that it's not for her. どうしと世界の終わりみたいな顔をしてるぞ。私にとっては<笑> Mayuri did that. I scanned the group for her figure. She is where she was at the start of the party, drinking tea by herself. Ever since the day of the body measurements, she has been keeping her distance from people. She doesn't seem to want to interact with anyone, and yet she is still so thoughtful. 
Her personality is full of contradictions, but that is my I look at Yagaki, who has just said such a strange thing, <laughs> as she holds her teacup. She narrows her cat-like eyes mysteriously. <laughs> yeah, I second that bear. <laughs> it's, it's fine. She says. I giggle. This weird way of encouraging me is just like her. Once the friendly chatter in the room has died down, someone passes Rika a small knife to cut the cake. Okay, now... The scent of sweat, the sound of water. I steady my fingers, which are nearly shaking from nerves, and ask myself, how has this come to be? How has what? Are we back in the bathroom again? Oh, lord. Yeah, there we are. She has completely entrusted her body to me. Okay. Perhaps it's due to the bath's humidity that she's sweating lightly and her sweet, uniquely feminine scent tickles my nostrils. This is cute so far. W we're fine. <laughs> I probably shouldn't look, but her thighs pressed closely together and her knees flushed slightly pink. Look sensational. Okay, yeah, here we go. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Let's move on. Extinguishing the desire rising in me, I wash her hair gingerly, as though dealing with a temperamental cat. Oh, that's cute! <laughs> I lather her hair carefully so as not to scratch her scalp or drop bubbles on her face. It's fine, she says, shaking her head slightly. I shift my gaze at her chest protruding from the towel wrapped around her... Um, sorry, as her chest protruding from the towel wrapped around her enters my vision. <laughs> Uh, I had been too embarrassed to bathe with anyone up until now, but since she knows about that... I suppose it's because I thought that if it was with Mayuri Kosaka, I wouldn't particularly mind. Two hours and 28 minutes ago. I was told you could have just kept your mouth shut. Oh god, no, what happened? Oh my gosh. But the person involved, Rika, and from the Sasakis who were watching the course of events. What happened? Mayuri knitting her brows, only Yaigaki maintained her usual expression. Everyone in class looks on as Rika and I face each other, having ruined the mood of the party. However, you're brave. Rika smiles, and we are able to return to the celebratory atmosphere from before. Suo-san,元気のないマユリさんへケーキをプレゼントしようとしていたのね。それを私が勘違いしてしまって、少し残念だけど、私は友人を元気づけるために行動できる。Suo-san のような人がハミティエで嬉しいわ。私もいつものマユリさんに戻ってもらうにはどうしたらいいか考えていたのだからこれは嬉しいご参なのよはい、スオさんからのプレゼントよ、マユリさんマユリ looks at the cake with a somewhat troubled and annoyed yet also happy expression ありがとう But it seems happiness wins out. She turns to me and smiles just like a warm spring day. Yuki, I'm 
そんなことないわ八代先輩も手伝ってくれたし八代先輩 She looks at me dubiously, then breaks into a smile. Suo san wa yoku ga nai na. So ko wa watashi hitori de tsukutta n desu te itte mo yokatta no ni. Our classmates around us start to laugh, and soon Rika and I are laughing too. Present wa ureshii kedo. Sasuga ni hole o maru maru hitotsu wa taberare nai shi ne. Kore wa minna de taberyo to omou n da kedo, ii ka. Her voice rises. Um. Oof. Kettishly, I hope,、uh, and I nod vigorously. <laughs> Mary takes the knife and makes the first cut, then、uh, divvies it up for everyone. Seeing Mary return to her place as the heart of the class, I can feel the leaden feeling that weighed down my heart melt away. Leaden, leaden. Okay. The familiar scene of laughing, joking classmates lets me know I made the right decision. Okay. I turn to the voice calling from behind me and see the usually detached Ringo furrowing her brows restlessly, and Ichigo, who is usually so bubbly it verges on annoying, hiding behind her sister as she stares at me. Sasaki san. Her voice trembles with sorrow. I think back on the letter addressed to me and how I'd been laughed at in the past. This is unlike Ringo, who is always so relaxed, and Ichigo looks like a child who is about to be scolded. The letter these girls sent me was so similar to the boys who'd tricked me, but. A laugh escapes my lips. そうちゃん。いえ。なんで佐々木さんたちとあの男の子たちを一緒にしていたのだろうって思って。いちごさんやりんごさんはあの時の男子たちと全然違うのに。男の子たち。私はね、以前佐々木さんたちがしたように手
I can say to Mayuri, who has released all the tension in her body and completely put herself in my hands, is... Yeah. I've never felt any sense of longing for my mother, so there isn't much else I can say. How sweet and lovely it would be to be able to lay all your feelings out in the open, without any insecurity. She inhales slowly, then exhales. I think this as I watch her small yet firm chest rise and fall beneath the towel with each breath. Ah, right. The reason I'm in the bath with Mayuri. Suo-san! One hour and 13 minutes ago. <laughs> ah, just show it chronologically, why do we keep flip-flopping? <laughs> After the birthday party, on the way back from the cooking club, after going to thank Yatsushiro, Mary calls out to me. Like Rika, she tells me she admires my courage, and that she wouldn't have had it in her herself. I just thought Mary had gone back to her usual self, but I realized that there is still something weighing on her mind. <laughs> Although I tell her repeatedly that that's not true, she doesn't seem to take it to heart. I feel I shouldn't use borrowed words and decide to tell her in my own words. みんなに無知だとか無能だとか言われても… There have been many times where I thought that's it, I'm giving up. But I get a feeling that if I gave up on one thing, I would probably just keep on quitting everything. Back to the bathroom. I went with her not knowing where because I figured it would be a good chance to make up. <laughs> Mary's shoulder brushes my chest as she leans against me, and that alone makes my face turn red. I tried to tell myself that it shouldn't be embarrassing since we're both girls, but... あ、恥ずかしくないわけないじゃない。今日はありがとう。え、はい。もう一度きちんとお礼を言いたかったの。思えば、スオさんには助けてもらってばかりだなって思って。そんな私は<笑> Ask this. I watched her in the mirror as she sits with her eyes closed and follow the trails of the bubbles flowing from her hair and over her marble skin. Her delicate shoulders. Her lithe youthful body. Her slender hips, so different from mine, seen as though they'd break if held too hard. As I watch her, eyes closed, surrendering herself to me defenselessly. Okay! <laughs> I feel a dark, wanton feeling bubbling forth within me, making my chest constrict. Dark feeling, okay. あ、あ、私。あの身体測定の時、なぜ私があんなに気持ちが抑えきれなかったのか。Okay. Suo-san? 
Oh my god, why are you ruining this? I would have wanted to know. Oh, no, I didn't want to think about anything. 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 We will never find out. We will never find out. <laughs> A voice echoes through the bath area as the sound of running footsteps draw near. It's the Sasaki's grinning cheerfully. Sasaki-san! Catching a glimpse of the twins' healthy skin through the gaps in their towels brings all my shame roaring back, making me blush. Uh. It does sound like that. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure where to look as the twins prance around in a carefree manner, so I stare down at the floor. <laughs> I'm getting closer watching them all fight over me. When. Uh, sorry, then Ichigo makes a sound as though she's just had an idea. She says, oh god, what's that mean? In that moment, it feels like a shadow falls over my warm spring day. <laughs> I watched her carefully, remembering how she'd yelled her denial at them before. Her expressionless face, the air pregnant with tension. Soda. Soda, na. Ah, soda. Seccaco da cara, stariga, donna ni soda terica. Tocuri to mise de morale to sio. A wicked smile comes over her, and she gestures as though using a telescope to stare fixedly at the twins' bodies. Chuto, sonna ni mirare tara, hazkasi ja! They crack jokes, but they are fair maidens after all. They make their escape from the baths, hands covering their chests. <laughs> she laughs mockingly. I'm relieved that this carefree banter between friends is back. Mary had said before, here in these very baths, that she felt no need to get closer with me. Seeing Mary smiling now. I say to myself as I watch the three of them in the tub feeling closer to her than ever. Ashura K. Luguin Sak. Henkyo no Wakse to you. SF Show Set Gar. この星の1年は地球時間に直すと約60年かかるそうだ春に15年夏に15年秋に15年冬に15年初めて私がその本を読んだ時同じ季節でとどまったまま幼子から少女になるまでずっと同じ季節が続くのを想像し声を上げて泣いてしまった緩やかに続いていく停滞という詩これからのお話は春で消え失せてしまった者たちの物語Who disappeared with the spring? The legend of the clown. Okay.
Someone taps me on the shoulder. So what do you think, Suchan? A clear, sweet voice calls to me, and with a small sigh, I stop what I'm doing and look up. My stomach growls as if on cue and my face turns red. Yeah, we feel you. <laughs> この時間はしょうがないよ。ちょうどお腹が空く頃合いだし。ああ、たくさん食べる。スオちゃんは見るからに育ち盛りですからね。I uh, turn even redder as they look me up and down while I sit at the desk. It's true that I am the tallest in the class, but. Oh come on! No, they're not saying that. Ichiko's words aside. It is between classes and dinner, and when I'm working is when I get the most hungry. The sweet scent of the snacks they've brought wafts toward me. I can guess what they are. I give in to temptation and take a bite of the chocolate chip cookie she offers me. Then... The Sasaki twins clap, clasp their hands together, their expressions radiant. I'll take the cookies over not being or sorry, I'll take the cookies over being in the bathroom. <laughs> I think I've had enough for one night. <laughs> Although anything which tastes good on this empty stomach, making a delicious cookie is quite difficult. They're simple to make, so I never mess them up. They usually turn out exactly how I expect, but they're more difficult to make exceptionally than other desserts. I take the cookie offered to me. As I devour it, I feel my stomach fill comfortingly. If possible, it would be nice to have some tea with it too. I thank the twins and wipe up the cookie crumbs that have fallen all over the desk. She asks again as I put the crumbs in the trash can. Ichigo's question. About the classmates who have dropped out of the school like flies. Oh. What? If only the novel limited its lewdness to the love interest. <laughs> yeah. What does she mean? Surely it's normal for people to leave the school if it doesn't suit them somehow. Though there have been rather a lot. だって、こういうのは失礼かもだけど、now, at the end of May, five girls have dropped out of the freshman class. I do think that's a lot, however... それって家族みんなで向かうことになったとか。Ichigo <laughs> 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 pouts for her brow and then takes something wrapped in paper from the basket she holds and hands it to Ringo. 
When she unwraps it inside is She hands me mine, a fresh hot dog, still warm. The oversized winner's aroma and what seems to be homemade tomato sauce gets my stomach growling again. The buns are freshly baked and the smell hints that there's butter spread liberally inside. My mind easily conjures up the mouth-watering texture and taste of sliced pickles on a hot dog. I'll take the food. I'm happy with the food. It's okay. <laughs> At this graceful sound escapes my lips. <laughs> ah, my appetite wins out. Ay, ay, ay. The conversation trails off for a while as the spiciness of the meat and sourness of the tomato sauce envelop my taste buds. I also, uh, sorry, I can also taste the crunchy, salty taste of the pickles here and there. She takes something from her pocket and places it on my desk. A shimmering silver spice bottle. Seeing me cocking my head, Ringo sprinkles a little on her own hot dog. Seeing her brimming with self-assurance, I recall how I had heard somewhere that more and more girls these days like spicy food. Then I remember how I read in some magazine that it was fashionable to carry your own favorite spice around with you. I... I... I had no idea this was a thing. This is a new food option I didn't have while living with my grandfather, so I thank her as I take the bottle of spice. Ichiko also takes a spice bottle from her pocket and places it before me. It's the first time I hear of it. Alright. Full of confidence, she puffs out her small chest. Then I'll try the salt. I like spice. I do like spice. Um, yeah, spice is what we need to pick. Okay, cool. I'm up for it. I like spice. Since I am not a big fan of spicy foods, I reach for the salt, but... Wait, didn't I click spice? I'm so confused. <laughs> I think I was looking up at me sadly. She blinks cocking her head at me. That's also the first I hear of it, but okay. This is foreshadowing for the coming storm. Oh no. She hands me the spice bottle as if she were encouraging me to down some alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> I suddenly have this image in my head of <laughs> You know how, how people have those like tiny little metal bottle things? I, I they have a name, I forget exactly what the name is. That they can, you know, hide alcohol in and like, you know, <laughs> 
<laughs> carry it around and stuff and there's like this ridiculous thing in, in some movies where they cut out a hole in a book and put the bottle in there to kind of like hide it away and it's like oh I'm carrying a book around actually I'm carrying booze around I have that exact image in my head of Ringo carrying around her spice <laughs> <laughs> Smuggling it around. <laughs> okay. Um. I hear the squeak of a wheelchair and a voice which sounds annoyed. She turns the wheels of a chair, bringing herself over to the desk where we are eating. Yeah, you're having a full picnic by this point. お、こんにちは。とりあえずこいつは口止め料としてもらっておくぜ。She nimbly snatches my hot dog and wolfs it down in two bites. うん。まあまあだな。でも血と味付けが濃いな。I can tell from Yagaki's response that she's intentionally ignoring that information, and I can't help but smile, Riley. <laughs> Knowing that she converses with Rika and Mayuri, I just thought she'd quickly become friends with the sociable Sasakis. However, her blunt refusal shows that the walls she has built around herself are still high, and that any watershed moment is still a while away. I take the book that was written today from its shelf and place it on Yagaki's lap. She smiles and strokes the binding as if petting a kitten. I'm sure they're asking about it more specifically, what kind of book it is. Yeah. She looks at me irritated at this interest being shown in her. She wants me to do something. だから、どんな本を読むのか興味があるのよ。え、双子の片割れが。それが多そうで本なんて読んでる暇なさそうだろ。それは一語年の方。私としては一人の方が気楽。双子って言ってもいろいろなわけか。Rinko blinks down at the book that's been tossed her way. ひどい。何がだよ。ヤイガキちゃんはもっと難しい本を読んでいると思ったから。ちゃんづけはやめろ。本なら専門書でも歴史書でも自動書でも何でも読むんだよ。それに宮沢賢治は割と難解だぞ
。リンゴさんに貸してあげたらどうかしら。リンゴさん読むの早いし、それにお互い同じ本を読めば語り合えるだろうし。Okay. My words off at the end. Yakaki narrows her,、um, her eyes like a cat with its sights fixed on its prey. Oh my god, this reminds me. The other day when we were.、Uh, where were we going? Anyway, we were out and we, were, we saw a cat in the grass being fixated on a spot. And you know how, how cats do before they pounce on something? And it was a mouse and it caught it. And we were like, oh wow, okay, there was actually something there that. Okay, Huntress cat. Okay, okay. <laughs> Suddenly the memory of that comes back as I read this line. So, Yagaki narrows her eyes like a cat with its sights fixed on its prey. I am the pathetic mouse, of course. <laughs> yeah. She quotes the movie The Legend of、um, 1900. Yes. And I am relieved. Somehow I managed to avoid getting bitten. シオちゃんも宮沢賢治好きなの普通かな代表作は一通り読んだけどへえ八重垣ちゃんが児童書でも読むって言ってたけどシオちゃんも女の子だねそんなにたくさん読んでるなんて I get the feeling that there's been some sort of misunderstanding but I'm not sure what exactly It is, and I、uh, don't know what to say. Yakaki must have noticed it too, as she's making the same puzzled expression. So, this is the impression of him regular people who don't, need, don't read much must have. I explained how Miyazawa did poetry, children's stories, and watercolors. So, it's a good thing. But it's a good thing. 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 いいや、なりからして絵本とか集めてそうだって思ったからさそういう空想世界のもの好きそうだろ絶対うんそういうふうに見られるんだよね<笑>だから誕生日の日には絵本をプレゼントされたりもしたんだけどはっきり言ってあんまり好きじゃないんだ可愛い絵なのはいいけど。軽いお説教みたいなのが入っていたり全然意味がわからないやつもあったりするしわからないのってえー、っと確かタイトルはあその前にスオちゃんは絵本って好き Oh, I don't really read them as much as the next person Ah, I don't like either option It's kind of like, eh, kind of mean Uh, I see the guide says I don't really read them. Okay. When asked in the moment, I nearly say yes, but. I know the famous stories, not so much from reading the books themselves, but more from references to them in dramas or novels. そうなんだ。良かったよ。女の子は読んでるべきみたいな人もいるし、私が変なのかなと思っちゃったしさ。で、そうそう、わからないって話だよね。あのね、少し前に流行って読まされたんだけど、それが一番意味がわからなかったな
子犬だっけその子犬が先々の飼い主のところで何度も死ぬって話。Although she's got it slightly wrong, Yagaki and I both understand from her brief explanation and nod. It was popular for a while as a book that could make even adults cry. When you describe it that way. Ask this, I fold my arms and think on it. Usually, those kinds of picture books convey morals or the manners of the time. But the picture book Ichigo is talking about. Okay. My lights flickered. Are we still good? I hope we are. We seem to be. <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you for confirming. Ah, so that's what I got. Oh, I'm going to be a little bit. Yagaki frowns as Ichigo takes her by the hand. I watch this commotion, thinking how they seem to have gotten a little bit closer. Tosho s t e h i d e my n i k i k o t a k e t o Gaga s a w a i d a t a d a r o Kondo a n a n o s a w a g i n a n d a s a w a g i t o k a j a n a k t e Tada no s e k e n a n a s i o Hora, Saiki, g a k u i o y a m e r k o g a f u e t e i r d e s h o Ah, so no cotone. t a s k a n i k o k o n o t o k o r o Goni y a m e t a y a t s u a i r n o So, I got on that day. Oh, mother, got queen got him up there, Nico gets more that day, and I know. So, I know, only Connie more in a corner of the Okoshkuna Sasaki Santachiva, Nanika Himitsuga, I don't know that old day. He meets Ojo Samanga home sick when he got cut the Yeni Modot that the Hanashijana. Is that going to be the next mystery? I wonder. Ichigo and Ringo have no comeback against the simple and reasonable answer. Thinking that the twins probably just want to make an interesting story, I decide to throw them a life belt. ヤイガキさんの言葉通りなら、通年通して辞める生徒がいてもおかしくないわ。でも、噂になるくらいだから、今年はやはり他の理由がある、とも考えられるわ。そう私的な疑問もそこなんだよ調子のいいこと。ヤイガキ looks annoyed as Ichigo jabs her finger toward her and snorts. Ichigo then turns back to me. それで、提案なんだけど、この事件を私たちの手で解いてみない<笑>事件っていうような事件でも<笑>そうした方が盛り上がるでしょ面白そうだしお願いすおちゃん<笑>そうですねあ<笑>あ、uh, It seems somehow impudent、uh, impudent? To try and find out the reason why our classmates are quitting 自分で思いついたことだけど今年だけ噂になっているってことは気になるわね。They say that many a true word is spoken in jest. I myself am interested in the source of the rumor, so I agree. やったーそれじゃ、今日はスオちゃんが図書委員の仕事があるから、明日から本格指導だよ Okay, now they care about her library duty. <laughs> 探偵っぽくていい。<laughs> The twins are excited. I watch as Eagaki shrugs <laughs> and leaves the library. I think happily how little by little I'm getting closer to the schoolgirl life I always wanted. Oh, how nice. How nice. Sweet. Okay, I think that's a great spot to leave it for tonight. 
and uh, then I guess we pick up with the, the follow-up on the mystery of people leaving next time. This Erika is very classy, hope she gets duct tape at some point. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> oh man. Oh, right, I always um, do the wrong thing here when I want to save this. Yes. Yeah, thanks for coming along. <laughs> through and, and pushing through the awkwardness. <laughs> um. Alright, here we go. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, see? A little lag there. At least for me. Yeah. It happened when I turned off the game. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for being here. Um, I'm not gonna hang out much tonight because I am very, very tired. Uh, unfortunately, I woke up much earlier than my alarm this morning, so I'm kind of like, oof, just hanging in there. My eyes are quite red. I saw it in the mirror as I was getting ready, so yeah, I'll just, I'll just go rest. Um, but this has been nice, even through the awkward moments. <laughs> it's worth it for the, for the cool moments, though. So yeah, I'm looking forward to continuing this uh, next Tuesday. And, uh, oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I love the shirt. The shirt is uh, the cute factor. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, and I was thinking, we can still talk about it, but I think it would fit much better for me if I streamed the Honkai story bit on Monday evening instead of during the weekend because I have a few things to do and it would work out better that I just do them ahead and then um, on Monday I don't work so I'm off and I can start around like one hour earlier than the usual stream so we have like three hours something of, um, of a time box to work with um, since the story is shorter and it would fit yeah so let's do that I will announce it in the, in the discord tomorrow too and yeah, looking forward to it. <laughs> uh, so I will see you then if you're interested in the Honkai stream and with more flowers on Tuesday and then Thursday, as per usual. Works for you way better too. Yay! Great. Awesome. Awesome. I'm happy. Happy to hear that. So perfect. It's all set. We're doing it. Yeah. Yeah. In the meantime, in meantime <laughs> take care of yourselves. Have a, a nice weekend. And uh, if the heat wave is hitting you, please, 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 please hydrate and do all the good stuff. Um, it's terrible. It's terrible. I, I stream with the fan constantly on now because I can't. I can't. It's too much. <sighs> Summer. Anyway, that's why I don't have the big headset on tonight uh, as well. Uh, just uh, it was becoming too too hot to even i don't know i just couldn't stand it anymore ah, all right okay i think that was all i need to say wish you chill vibes this weekend if possible <laughs> take care of yourselves and see you monday with honkai <laughs>